we are on another adventure and this time it's definitely a bit of an adventure because I have no idea what to expect at the end of this little coastal pathway. We're still on the Norfolk coast, we've headed down a little bit more. I'm in a place called Coverhyth, Coverhyth I think it is, Covehyth, Covehyth. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to expect when I get down here. I have an idea what I'm hoping for, but uh, yeah, never been down this path before, never been down to this beach before, so it's all going to be a bit of a surprise for me. Oh, yeah, thank you. So we will have to find out what is down here when we get here. And hopefully, if what I hope's here, it's going to be amazing. But I'm not counting me, I'm not counting me chickens just yet. Uh, we just come past some pig farms. We're parked up on the road. If you ever do come here and you see the double yellow lines on the road, the side where you are, do not, repeat, do not park on those double yellow lines. You will get a ticket, guaranteed. Right, I'm just going to check this map and see what it says. National Nature Reserve. National Nature Reserve, right. Yeah. So, this is where we actually are. That's the map. We're here and we're heading down to here. I think where those trees are, that's where I'm favoring what we want. It's going to be on the beach just there. So we're heading down this path. We just come from here and we're heading down to there. As you probably gathered, we are on the beach. It's a nice sandy little beach. If you come in to sit on the sand, it's a nice little sandy beach. There's a few pebbles that we're walking on. We're kitted up with full boots, walking gear because we don't know how far we're walking. We've had sandals on this week, we've had sand feet in the sea, we've done all sorts. It's been really nice because it is our holiday at the end of the day, not just to make videos. There is, however, an electric fence. There are nesting sand martins. Now, I don't know whether they're nesting now because I thought birds nested at the beginning of the year, i.e. March sort of time, ready for eggs and bringing on their litter in the year. So I don't know whether they're nesting now, but that's supposed to be an electric fence and I don't want to find out. So what I've come down here for, I'm hoping is up in front. But what I'm not hoping, or what I know is not going to be right, is the tide's not quite right. This is only a 2.7 meter tide, which is a tiny weeny high tide. One, it's good because it's high tide right now. So the tide's going to be going out, which means we're in safety. We're not going to get cut off. We're not going to be forced into the electric fence or the swampy pond that's over there. So the tide is going out, which is good. What I don't think is going to be so good is with it being such a low tide, I'm going to get what I've come for. But I can see why I was recommended to come here. And I'll show you in about another half a mile. Because I can see it up in the distance. found a little tree and I'm not gonna lie I might have thrown it on the edge of the water <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get a picture on a record shot really so I've got my camera I'm on f14 I've got a six stop on and I'm around a third of a second just to try and get a bit of movement in the water uh, I may even cheat again and throw it in a bit further and as the tides going out what I do is I'll take it back up but I'm sure it makes no difference the sea's gonna get it one day not the best of images but it's it's a record of being here so every time the tide comes in I'm just taking lots of shots as the movement and the water goes back out so let's try something different let's see if I can just shove it out a little bit further
Now I'm sure some of you will think I'm really bad for doing that, but like I say, it's on the beach and I'm gonna get wet. It's on the beach anyway, and the tide's going out and coming all the time. And I can see stars, little stars, but I've just exerted myself then. Here's a bigger wave, let's see what this one will do. And you can see the waves actually moving it as well. So I'm focused on the, the uh, bottom end. And I just need to wait for that bit of water. I've been having a play. I keep kicking it back in the sea and it's not doing any harm because it's washing it back in again. This thing's been in the sea for a long, long time. You can tell by the way, it's all washed to nothing. So honestly, please don't ever go at me. It's done nothing and it's seas just brought it back into me. Uh, but we've had a play with it, try and get a nice little shot out of it. And I think I've got one or two that look pretty cool. I've done a couple of long exposures and I've kind of cut the sort of third to half second exposures to try and get some water movement. And uh, yeah, Denise is having a go at the moment. She's uh, here, Mrs. C is full on action. She's waiting for a wave to come up a little bit higher. She's got brand new boots on at the moment, Gore-Tex, so we can't get them in the sea, whereas mine are, mine are my old ones. I wore my old boots just in case. But I treated us with some nice, uh, nice new Gore-Tex lightweight boots. But yeah, every so often I just shove it back in the sea. Do you want me to shove it back in again? No, it's all right. Every so often I'm just picking it up and just putting the edge in the sea, just so we get a bit of water movement around it. I'm gonna get back to my camera bag and I'm gonna walk along the beach because I can see some other stuff up there and even though the water's not round, I still think it'll make a really good long exposure because I can smooth the water out in the background and I can get the clouds to move. So there's definitely some old ruins of trees buried in the sand up there and that's what I really wanted to come and see. So let's get up there, take a couple of shots up there and then uh, we're done. So at some point one day, those two trees there will be exactly like that one we just moved. They'll be washed out to sea. They'll have a float away. They'll break up. I don't know what they'll do, but they'll definitely wash away. The one above it up the top there as well, that'll be down. There's a massive one down here that's sitting on the shoreline as well. Uh, we got this, there's a tree stump just here on the edge of the cliff. Look at this one here. There's another big trunk coming up to the top of the tree. So this is what happens to them. It just fall into the ocean the ocean wears them away, washes them away, takes them away even, puts them back into nature as nature intended, I suppose. I don't know, I don't know, I'm making that up, and I? They are nature at the end of the day. But yeah, coastal erosion, what a, what a thing. There's one thing I won't ever mess with, and that's water and definitely the sea. The sea has no, no remorse. It will just take this back land back. Eventually it will just cover trash it bring it all down and there's not a lot we can do about it really this coast that we're walking along was actually connected uh it was, i think it's called dogging land or dogger land not dogging dogger land and uh, it used to be connected to mainland europe so yeah it's washed away over millions of years god these bits up here look really good there might even be a picture shooting up this old tree up into the sky just by its pure nature of what it looks like. 
<laughs> this, is a, this is a cool beach. And I'd say on another day, on another time, on another era, this could be amazing. Kind of a tree graveyard in a way. There's a few footsteps in the sand, which is a shame. Dog shit bag. I like this one, a dog shit bag. Dirty. I like this one. Uh, there's not too many footsteps in it, apart from the ones that Denise has just walked right past. <laughs> she must learn. She's going to photograph this one. I'm going to photograph no, the one behind. Like the clouds, yeah, I like the clowns as well. I like the no, clowns. <laughs> I like the clowns, the clouds. I like this one here, so I like the shapes in it. I'm going to take a picture of this. I like the sand in front of it. I'm just going to have to try and ignore the footsteps if I can. Yeah, hello, get a shot of this. Definitely. Now, I know I'm quite close to your to the camera and you're seeing right up my nostrils, but I just wanted to explain this shot and I wanted to put the, the video on to explain it, just uh, about clipping edges. So if the video's on, I wanted to try and get these sandy lines in here. Now, like I say, Denise put her footprints in there. I'm going to try and cover them up if I can. Um, but yeah, these, these stripy lines are like leading up. And this is what I'm photographing, this old, uh, it must be a tree stump at the bottom. Um, the, yeah, it goes that direction looking at the bit at the back. Uh, if I turn the camera around slightly, that actually might be a nicer composition a little bit. Because you've got a little bit of coastline up the top there. And you've got the end of the tree, which is obviously coming this direction. Um, this is making it a bit central, but that bit sits on the thirds. But yeah, I do like these stripes going in and I like the little wavy patterns, I like this deadness, I like the stick there, and I've made sure I've kept that piece off this uh, adjoining water line, because uh, that was quite important to me. So yeah, that's what I've done. I'm now going to set this one up uh, before it was, like I say, before it was round here. Now I'm just going to take another one with it there. And what I'll do is I'll stick them both up on the screen. Tell me which one you prefer more. This one's a bit busier, this one's a little bit more cleaner. I think I like the cleaner one best, but I definitely need to take both. Four minute exposure? Yeah. Four minutes? Yeah, but I'm, I'm doing silly, silly Four minutes? Yeah, I've got a silly filter. <laughs> what filters have you got on? Got She's got a whole stack on again. <laughs> this is why I love her. Look at the front of this. Look at the front of this. It's like a. Polarizer. You've got a polarizer? Look at the front of her camera. It's like, a, it's like a lethal weapon. It's like a cannon. It's got that many filters screwed on the front. Can I tell you my dialogue? <laughs> Go on, what's your dilemma? Right, my dilemma is I want to get low down. Yep. So that the they stick up into the sky. Yeah. Yep. Because of this bit here, no matter where you're Right, right. turn it upside down. Yeah, well the thing is the the bit that sticks out to the left. Yep. Yeah. I can't get down low enough for that to break the horizon. You probably won't you'd have to be flat to the floor but you can actually turn your tripod upside down what yeah. Denise is saying I'm not sure if you can hear is there's a, there's a piece right over on that edge that's sticking out sideways she wants to get low enough that that's in the horizon so she's basically got to get her camera flat on the ground the only other option to do is grab that flat stone over there and actually put your camera on a flat stone and uh, use that as a, as a tripod but yeah they're a rick really really nice set of stumps and I'm gonna get a shot of them as well definitely definitely gonna get a shot something nice and simple and then something with a nice bit of mood in the sky I reckon get some movement in in clouds right I don't want to spend too much longer on this video otherwise it's gonna end up a long one but I've had to come down really really low look at my tripod this is my tripod it is buried in the sand Denise has got hers upside down like I said to her just now Put it upside down she can get nice and low she's usually going to be getting a really good in there but i've come down as low as i can i've spread the tripod right out and i've got the legs all in the sand so i've got to brush all this sand off once we get back i've got to but it's just so i can get a shot looking up at these things like this look at these but what i have done is i've just taken a couple of phone shots which are absolutely amazing so there's an amazing shot here a vertical one with this there's an absolutely stunning shot about there looking at all three of them leading in and then as you come around here 
get the separation between all three looking out to the sea with a big cloud so there's another fantastic shot here with this nice little bit of a, uh, a bottom piece to hold the bottom of the frame in so yeah this is going to be a fantastic photograph long exposure all the cloud movement i'm going to grab this one and then i'll come back and say goodbye It's time to get the obligatory selfie. Denise is getting herself into place and I need to get on, uh, oh, look at that, nice rest and I'll sit on the other end maybe. Right, let's first do our selfie, 10 second timer, get myself in position and then, uh, yeah, let's see if I can get myself in position without getting spiked. <gasps> Ooh. No, that was a bit silly that one, wasn't it? Let's do it properly. <laughs> Right, no more messing around, proper selfie. So that should be a wrap. Selfie's done, video's done. Time for us to go back and get a cup of coffee. Yeah, what do you reckon? So. Uh, we might just have a little walk down to that little lump of uh, wood down there just go down there when we head back go and get a cup of coffee chill out in the van for a bit make sure we're safe for parking for tonight and uh, yeah thanks for watching don't forget like and subscribe hopefully Denise got a good one what do you reckon yeah she's concerned about her hair we've been in the van now for five six days five nights we don't really have a mirror she's got no curling tongs or straighteners and uh, yeah we haven't had a decent shower yet we've we're having good washes, but we haven't had a shower, and she can't have a shower and get her hair wet because it goes curly, so we've got to be really careful, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> so, right, till next time, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to us both, and uh, yeah, get out and shoot. Find these locations. This is what you've got to do. Find these locations. Talk to friends. Get on our Facebook group, Landscape Vlogtography Adventures. That's where we put a lot of stuff. That's where people tell me where to go and try places out. I wouldn't have never known this place until whoever it was that told me, I've forgotten your name. I'm ever so sorry. Um, I'm sure he'll remind me. And if he reminds me, I'll, I'll let you know in the description. Until next time, ciao for now. Don't forget, you've got to be out there to win it. <laughs> to win it. <laughs> ciao. <laughs>